everybody. Welcome to the first lesson from Essential Elements. This will take us through exercises one through six in your Essential Elements book. Before we get started in the book, I just want to review some quick things about setup um, and then how we're actually sitting and playing. So um, if you remember, if you've seen the video, uh, we want to make sure that the flute is balancing between our hands as we get ready to play the instrument. So that right hand thumb is going to be really helpful to push into the left hand index finger and then the chin as well. And remember, those are our three balance points and we can balance the entire instrument just on those. This is going to be really important as we start to play notes coming up in just a minute here. Um, one other thing to keep in mind is that the flute is actually um, a very three-dimensional instrument. Sometimes we think of it as two-dimensional, thinking we need to have the flute parallel to our shoulders but actually it floats away from the body. So I'll turn slightly to the side so you can see this. So we too often think that flute is played like this, but it's actually played out here. So I've got lots of space in here between um, my shoulders and the actual tube. And then you can see again from this angle that I'm balancing really nice and easy. Okay, so we want to make sure that you're doing that as well. Now, flute also is a little bit different um, than some of the other instruments because we need to turn a little bit in order to face our stand to play properly. So with flute, make sure um, that if you're looking straight ahead while you're playing, because we're actually twisting the torso to have that openness here, I need to make sure that I'm pointed, my hips are actually pointed off this way, and then I can turn back to the stand directly. So I'll show you what that looks like here in just a second. Okay, so the stand is straight out in front of me right now. So if I sit with my legs pointed directly at the stand, and then I put my flute up to play with that open position, you'll see that I end up facing this direction over here, right? So in order to change that, I need to make sure that my legs are pointed over here, and then I can face back to the music stand really easily. Um, so you might wanna turn your chair slightly at an angle. Mine is angled already to be over this direction. So that's just a quick little setup thing to make sure we all are doing the correct thing to keep our alignment nice, um, which will help prevent some tension issues from creeping in. Okay, so we're gonna start with exercise one on page four. And the first note that they introduce here is an F. So that F is going to be left hand thumb, first finger, middle finger, and ring finger, plus the first finger in the right hand and the right hand pinky. Remember, we've still got all of those balance points. We've got that right hand thumb, left hand index finger, and the chin helping to solidify everything. And we're just going to blow through that ooh shape that we've talked about before to get that very first sound. So get a great breath and then we'll try this F. So here we go, breathe in. with that exercise it asks you to hold a long note so what I try to do with that is get a great breath each time and then make sure that I'm holding as long as I have breath whenever I run out then I just let it go so let's try that one more time holding as long as you can on those notes Good job. So long tones are one of those things that I still practice every day. It's just a great warm up to really get into the heart of your sound so you get a great tone every time. So let's go on to number two. 
Um, this one is going to introduce some quarter notes and quarter rests. And if you remember from what you've learned in your lesson so far, a quarter note is a note value that gets one count and then the quarter rest also gets one count. So a uh, note has sound to it, a rest is silence. So we're going to think about one, two, three, four, and play number two. Two, one, two, ready. Two and three and four. And two and three and four and. Nice and easy, right? So do that one again if you had any trouble counting through those. Um, but otherwise, I think that's a great start with counting. That brings us to our second note on the page, which is E flat. So E flat takes the left hand thumb, middle finger, and ring finger, uh, right hand, first finger, middle finger, ring finger, and the pinky here. So having almost all of our fingers down, the only two we're not pressing are the left hand index finger, the first finger, and the left hand pinky. So everything else is on for E flat. And we're just going to do the same thing that we did with number one, just play that nice, beautiful long tone as long as you have air. So get everything set here. Think of that ooh shape and let's get a really great breath. Nice and easy there too. So again, if you had any trouble with that note, just make sure that you do that a couple of times. There's no harm in doing it more than once. Um, and I usually spend about five to 10 minutes doing my long tones before I get into anything else in each practice session. All right, so that brings us to number four, where we're going to use both of those notes. So E flat to F. So what I'd recommend is let's finger an E flat and then think about the fingers that are moving as you're going to F. So I have to put this first finger in the left hand down and I have to lift these two fingers in the right hand. So go back to E flat and then think about pressing and lifting at the same time. And just back and forth on that. There you go. Good, so let's try that. Counting a little bit slower this time. How about one, two, three, Four, set yourself, two, ready. And two, and three, and four, and. And two, and go back to E flat. Change to F and play. Good job. So hopefully that's coming more easily. You're getting those notes under your fingers without too much issue. Now the last note here is the D. So from E flat to D, all we're doing is picking up the pinky. So that right hand pinky is picking up. So finger E flat and then D, nice and easy. So let's try D again with that great breath. Make sure you're sitting nice and tall in your chair. You've got both feet on the floor. If you need to scoot to the front of your chair a little bit, that's fine. Um, I'm usually pretty far forward in the chair just so that I can really feel my legs hitting the ground. So let's try that D. So remind yourself from E flat to D. And we've got lots of space here. And let's try that one more time here. Number five. Two, ready. And get a good breath.
Good. So now number six is going to combine all three of the notes we've learned so far. So let's try fingering through those ones just to make sure. So from D to E flat, we're just adding that pinky. E flat to F, remember this finger is coming down and these two are lifting up. So E flat to F, E flat to F. Good. And let's try what's on this page, starting with D. Number six. One, two, ready. Great job! That takes us through the first page of Essential Elements. Stay tuned for the next video that takes us through exercises 7 through 13.